In the conflict between Israel and Palestine, both sides have taken to airstrikes and rocket attacks. On Tuesday evening, videos on social media showed rockets fired from Gaza being intercepted by the Israeli Iron Dome air defense system. It appeared that the rockets were hitting an invisible shield. What is the Iron Dome? It is a short-range, ground-to-air, air defense system that includes a radar and Tarmir interceptor missiles that track and neutralize any rockets or missiles aimed at Israeli targets. It is used for countering rockets, artillery and mortars, CRAM as well as aircraft, helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles. The genesis of the Iron Dome goes back to the 2006 Israeli-Lebanon War, when the Hezbollah fired thousands of rockets into Israel. The following year, Israel announced that its state-run Rafael Advanced Systems would come up with a new air defense system to protect its cities and people. It was developed with Israel Aerospace Industries. The Iron Dome was deployed in 2011. While Rafael claims a success rate of over 90%, with more than 2,000 interceptions, experts agreed the success rate is over 80%. Rafael says on its website that it can protect deployed and maneuvering forces, as well as the forward operating base, FOB, and urban areas, against a wide range of indirect and aerial threats. How does it work, and what makes it so effective? The Iron Dome has three main systems that work together to provide a shield over the area where it is deployed, handling multiple threats. It has a detection and tracking radar to spot any incoming threats, a battle management and weapon control system, BMC, and a missile firing unit. The BMC basically liaises between the radar and the interceptor missile. It is capable of being used in all weather conditions, including during the day and night. Interceptors vs. Rockets Interceptors vs. Rockets Retired Air Marshal Anil Chopra, who heads the Center for Air Power Studies, CAPS, think tank in New Delhi, explained that in any air defense system there are two main elements. One is the radar, which should have the capability to see small objects, and to be able to accurately track it. He said there are usually two to three radars in any air defense system to spot and track incoming objects. When you launch the weapon, it is the tracking radar that will help the weapon reach there. After that, he said, that the weapon's own head will take over. Once the missile is fired, it should be able to maneuver, should be able to see the small target on her own and thereafter go and shoot. But it is impossible to hit the target directly each time, which is why there is something in each missile called proximity fuse which is a laser-controlled fuse. When passing within 10 meters of the target, this activates and blasts the missile with shrapnel that destroys the target. The warhead is exploded in such a way that it caters for the velocity of the missile and the target. Chopra said. How much does it cost? Each battery, or the full unit, can cost over $50 million, and one interceptor Tarmir missile costs around $80,000. In contrast, a rocket can cost less than $1,000. The system dispatches two Tarmir missiles to intercept each rocket. However, Chopra said that is not a good measure to judge cost-effectiveness. If I have to take rockets, which cost very little, and I am firing any missile, then it's an expensive exercise. But it proves a deterrent, he said. Also, he said, cost-effectiveness is each life saved. Second, he added, is about the morale of the nation in not being intimidated by rockets.